The following is a production of New Mexico State University. Cheryl Sewell's Dallas Garden is a xeriscape on the eastern edge of the southwest. Cheryl, this landscape is really unique in your neighborhood. You still got lawn like everyone else, but this is different. You're trying to do something here. Well, it all started out, we had too much grass and we were tired of mowing and we had this light pole here on the corner. We were trying to camouflage that. So we started with a small bed here on the corner and when Bermuda grass won't grow, you know you need to get some hardy <laughs> plants. So we started out with a few cactus. Uh, we had a friend give us some from New Mexico, uh -huh. uh, the hedgehog cactus. And then we've had real good luck with the um, ice plant. And skull cap is a great little plant too. That's beautiful. It uh, stays evergreen and blooms pretty much all summer. Another plant we have is the um, gray creeping gerrymander. Uh -huh. Very zero escape plant. As a matter of fact, if you overwatered it, it'll die. So water is the herbicide there. Yes. It, uh, it blooms pretty much all summer. It's very fragrant. The bees love it. It's just a real nice little ground cover. They also have Texas tuberose. I thought I saw that. Yeah. Manfreda, and that's, that's one of my favorites. Yeah, it looks a little sparse right now because it's new, and a lot of people think a xeriscape is a really slow landscape. Well, not necessarily, Curtis. Uh, for example, this plant right here, this is a cardoon. I bought this about, planted about six weeks ago, and it was a one-gallon container. Mm -hmm. And it's grown quite a lot just in the six weeks, but I have another one back here I planted the same size last year, and it's quite large now. Oh, this cardoon did get big. Yeah, it's... it's uh, it's sending up its bloom spikes now, so it's much taller than it normally is, but you can see what it does in just in one year, and it's probably going to have 15 or 20 blooms on it. It looks like an artichoke, yeah, it doesn't does. it? Yeah, it does. But it opens out, and it looks more like a thistle bloom, but it's a vivid blue. It's blue. very striking. It's not a real long-lived plant, but it's, it's well worth it. You get several years of, um, of enjoyment out of it. You've got other plants which may be long-lived. I look at a lot of different sedums here. Oh, yeah. Yellow this... flowers, white flowers. I've got probably seven or eight different varieties of sedums, and this one a friend of mine gave me a start from his grandmother's yard, and mm -hmm. you can see what it's done. Good ground cover fills in. You got a lot of other things. Skull caps here again. It's, Skull caps. That's a beautiful plant. Yeah, it's just. It's, Looks like it's well behaved too. It very well behaved. And we got a few little annual cosmos here. They mm -hmm. reseed themselves. Have some yuccas. Um, the yucca restrata over here is a mm -hmm. great plant. Very low, very low maintenance. Uh, we have a little lizard right here on the red yucca. Takes yeah. his nap. He likes to live in there. Uh -huh. uh, also, this is a uh, Nalina. That's beautiful. Nalina Nelsoni. And again, that's been a very fast growing plant. I put that in maybe five years ago, three to five years ago, in a five gallon bucket, and it has, you know, increased tenfold probably. So everyone this. thinks that Xeriscape is slow. It no. is not. No, it's if not. If you choose the right plants. That's correct, Curtis. Look on through here. I see a lot of things. Some I don't really recognize very well. What's this ground cover back here? Uh, that's lychnus, and it's okay. uh, self seeds, and it's a biennial, and and it comes up and does this. Has sort of a gray, fuzzy leaf ground cover, and then it sends up a bloom spike this time of year. And I have two colors. One is sort of a um, real hot pink, and the other one is white. Oh, it's beautiful it's, right now, yeah. but add flowers. This may be a it's perfect great. plant. And the day lilies, of course. And what is this? This is another Texas native. It's a four nerve daisy. And this is a, another tremendous plant. It blooms probably 10 months out of the year. Wow. And it is evergreen, it's just a little thread like foliage. This is a cool season Texas native, uh, Barber's Buttons. Mm -hmm. and it's at the end of its bloom cycle. It's lost its petals, but you can see the seed pods are, are still quite interesting. And is that Texas betony back there? No, it looks like Texas betony, but it's actually cedar sage. Oh. And it has a similar bloom, uh, bright red, um, but it blooms this time of year. It's more cool season, whereas a Texas betony would be a, a warm season. So you got something to, it looks the same, so you can really spread the season out. That's right. And it looks like you've moved your living room outside here. Well, yeah, essentially, we spent a lot of time out here, and, and we started out, we were having a problem growing ground cover underneath this um, yopon tree because the root sucker is so bad, and we got tired of constantly cutting those out. So we put in a flagstone uh, patio and a seating area, and we spent quite a little bit of time out here relaxing. And that was phase one, and then phase two, we put in the water feature. Have a seat, Curtis. Okay. Wow. The water feature looks nice and it sounds good. Re very restful. Very relaxing. And actually, that was a recycled project. We uh, redid a bathroom and had a spare bathtub. <laughs> that's so, a bathtub. <laughs> yeah. That's a sunken bathtub. And over here, it looks like you've moved the dining room outside. Yeah, we've got that great uh, live oak tree. 
and we eat breakfast out there frequently. Really? Mm -hmm. You and Roger have created a really fabulous living area, garden here. Thanks for showing it to us. Well, thank you, Curtis. I enjoyed having you. The preceding was a production of New Mexico State University. The views and opinions in this program are those of the author and do not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the NMSU Board of Regents.